with Dennis Galen. Most of you will know him as Take from Take TV. This is one of the first times you're actually at an event without commentating or working there. How do you feel about that? I feel great, to be honest. Uh, I can sleep a bit more, actually, because usually I wake up at 5 a.m. when I have to cast games here at Inter Extreme Masters. And actually today I woke up at, oh wait, today it was at 9, which is a huge improvement, four more hours to sleep, so I can do some more party. No, but actually beside that, uh, it's cool, it's re more relaxing for me, and yeah, I think it's the best, best sleep that I ever had. <laughs> Sounds good then. Um, the format changed quite a bit. We're in season six now. They changed the whole IEM format, like how to qualify. Um, you've been at many IEMs before. How do you feel about the changes? I think in general they improved. Uh, they have more players at the event. They have more, more like some unknown players. I, I would not call them unknown, but look at Feast. He's one of the guys in the top eight already. Uh, actually, he's still playing. I think he was leading one zero, and. He's, he's not a guy like Grubby who, who's already known to everyone. He's not invited, he just qualified. And I like the qualifying system. Uh, I think IM does a lot of work for the, for the future and this is what I like. So one of the changes also being LOL added to the games. Uh, are you a LOL player yourself or would you have added another game if you would have the choice? So far, no. I think LOL is one of the few games which uh, makes sense to be added. I mean, they've got such a huge community. They have, I think the peak was like almost 2,000 at the IEM event. Uh, and even when it's like 3 p.m., which is a bad time for people to watch games, they have 120,000, 130,000 people watching, which is a lot more than StarCraft 2. And even if I am a StarCraft 2 player, uh, I respect that. I, th I see that these guys can uh, also help to improve esports to make it bigger. And yeah, I like the, 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 the League of Legends being an Inter Extreme Masters, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see maybe some more games in the future added as maybe, I mean, I heard a lot of people saying like Counter-Strike probably won't be there for too much longer. You think Counter-Strike GO is a possibility for that or do you think they're going to change to a whole other shooter maybe? Uh, I think everyone would like to have CSGO there if the game is good. So far, I think no, it's not good enough. Um, but yeah, we have to wait. I mean, the beta is still going on. Everyone wants, wants this game to improve, to, to make it a real eSport title. I don't know if Valve really want to do that. Uh, they have to decide. I hope these guys are going to do that. Uh, listen to the pro gamers, listen to the community, listen to eSport. And if so, I think this game is a must-have in uh, Inter Extreme Masters event. So um, you're currently here by yourself and you're also working at Take TV at the moment, which is your own project. Is there anything big coming up that year which you can reveal or anything you're particularly looking forward to? Uh, League of Legends is a huge <laughs> League of Legends is a huge game and I think for the future we might gonna see a really cool event coming up. Beside that for sure the Home Story Cup and I can tell you guys that it's coming up in July. Uh, I don't want to spread too much but July should be fine and yeah uh, I'm looking forward to both of these events. I think pretty much everyone does as well, as it's always fun to see you on stream. So, I just give you the last word now. Any shout outs to your fans or to, to the people who you're friends with or whatever? Uh, I just, yeah, what should I say? I'm just thankful and uh, I, I, I like to enjoy all these games. The community uh, makes it possible because, because of them we have the chance to make it as big as this. And we have. Yeah, I mean, it's not only into Extreme Masters, there's so many big tournaments came up the last year. And yeah, I'm happy for that and I'm happy to be a part of that. Thank you. Okay, lovely last words and uh, thank you very much for the interview and taking the time for it.